Today we're going to show you how to turn on the Fluke 1735 and select the proper power network. We turn the instrument on with the rotary knob. We wait for it to boot up and then we use the menu key to select our configuration menu. We use our cursor control key to select power network. So we arrow down, select power network, the screen says select enter, so we'll use the enter key to select that. We can use our arrow key then to change our power configuration. We're in three phase Y right now. Our arrow key will go through two element, three element delta, single phase, split phase, etc. You can also change your nominal voltage and frequency from this screen as well. Once things are configured properly, we'd press the enter key to say OK and the escape key to come back to our main scope screen. You should consult your user manual for wiring diagrams for the different connections, three phase delta, Y, split phase connections, etc. If you don't have your user manual, you can download one at fluke.com under support. At this point, we should see voltage and current waveforms for all three phases. We'd expect those to be roughly in phase. If they're not, the issue might be a current clamp that's not pointed in the right direction. All the Fluke CTs have an arrow that should be pointed towards the load. That's the way we'd go through and make sure that we have things properly aligned. And that's how we set up the Fluke 1735.